Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the latest release notes of June 2024 for the Microsoft Build, version 23H2, build 22631.3737. So, let's begin. Windows 11 KB5039212 update includes several new features, one of the new features is drag and drop support in File Explorer. You can now drag files between breadcrumbs in the File Explorer address bar. For those unaware, breadcrumbs show the path to your current file location. This feature was removed with the Windows 11 Moment 4 update, but Microsoft previously informed the users that it will be added back to the OS, starting with today's update. You can now drag and drop folders or files using Explorer's address bar. However, remember that the feature is being rolled out, and it may not appear for everyone. This build also adds a new feature that prevents you from accidentally closing the Windows Share window by clicking outside of it. You must select the close button at the upper right corner to close the window. Another new feature lets you create QR codes for web page URLs and cloud files from the Windows Share window. To use the feature, you need to click the Share button in the Microsoft Edge toolbar and choose the Windows Share option to share URLs and files across devices. The update adds a linked devices page to the settings app. Here, you can manage your PCs and Xbox console. This page appears on Home and Pro editions when signed in with a Microsoft account. Microsoft has now turned on to a new account manager on the start menu. This feature shows your account benefits and makes it easy to manage account settings when you sign in with a Microsoft account. Microsoft account integration is getting several other improvements. For example, Windows 11 will now back up many of your sound settings, including your sound scheme. If you turn on Remember My Preferences and select the checkboxes for personalization and other Windows settings, the build also allows users to sign into their Microsoft account in the Backup app, saving backups to their account. Additionally, you can now send emails to yourself from the Windows Share window. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.